Please take your seats quickly, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Hi guys, welcome to OneMinuteTennis.com. In today's session, I want to talk to you about the forehand follow-through, and I want to show you a super simple technique, which if you practice and get the feel of the stroke with this technique, will mean that you have the perfect follow-through on every forehand from now on. Now, the two most common pieces of advice you hear in tennis lessons all over the world are watch the ball and follow through, finish the stroke. Why is it so difficult to finish the stroke? But obviously, as we have a desire not to miss, then it's much easier to swing through to here in a controlled fashion than it is to have play a free-flowing, complete movement. It's kind of natural. If you learn the game as a kid and play thousands of hours, month after month, then the finishes become natural. But if we're playing senior tennis and we learn a little bit later in life, then that's a very unnatural movement. And this kind of finish that you see in tennis courts all over the world is very natural. To change this, think about practicing and getting shadow strokes with two hands. Now we learn with feelings, remember. The language of the body is feeling, the language of the mind is words. So to change your stroke, we want the feeling of it. And to achieve this feeling of a perfect unit turn and the perfect follow through, see what happens when you make your forehand with two hands. I'm not suggesting that you play a two-handed forehand. I'm just thinking of getting the feeling this way. You see, if I have two hands on the racket, then my unit turn is perfect. It has to be. It's very easy to just take the racket back with the arm. But if I have two hands, then I have to take the racket back with the body. So it encourages a unit turn. And now if I leave the left hand on and make the stroke, then this kind of aborted, pushy finish is totally unnatural. With the two hands on the racket, it's natural to rotate and swing across the body. This creates angular momentum, it creates more leverage, it makes a better stroke. But it's unnatural, if you're learning the game later in life, not to make this movement. This is the natural thing to do. But with two hands, I turn with the body, and now I load my weight on the right side, and naturally, I rotate to the left side. Now what I'm going to do is keep the hands close together, but still use both hands. Not with them on the racket, but with them almost on the racket. So see, they're together, together, and now I make the stroke. And now I'm going to separate them a little bit more, but still using the hands as one, as one unit. So together, and I make a perfect forehand stroke. And now what I'm going to try and do is alternate between the two-handed movement and the normal correct forehand stroke, with the left hand doing the job that it should do. So now with two hands, I make the stroke, and now I split, use the left hand, and make the swing. Back with two hands, to encourage rotation, and now back with the left hand finding the ball and helping to push the weight to the left side of the body. If you have problems with a pushy, careful stroke, whether it's all the time or under pressure, then by getting the feel of the stroke with two hands, it's really easy to reproduce the rotational energy and the swing paths of the best players in the world. Try this now and let me know how it works. It really is a fantastic way of transforming your forehand in a super short space of time. If you like my ideas on tennis, check out what we're doing online. I'm helping players all over the world with a unique blend of video analysis and one-to-one -one coaching. Or check out our books on Amazon. We have books on every aspect of the game, and the books break down the strokes into the biomechanics and the science of the strokes, and then super simple solutions with great illustration. Everything we do is designed to help you become the best tennis player you can and become the best version of yourself. So find your swing path with the two-handed forehand and then transform it stage by stage, step by step into the same movement with your one-handed forehand and you'll find that you've got more power, more speed, more spin. Thanks for watching and see you next time for more unique tennis lessons that really work.